In today's video, we're going to be teaching our dogs the retrieve. Now, this isn't a retrieve when you're playing fetch and your dog brings back the tennis ball, but rather a retrieve where no matter what you drop, whether it's your keys or your wallet or your phone, your dog will pick it up and hand it back to you. This is an important exercise for most service dogs as most service dogs need to know how to retrieve for their owner. This is going to be the exact same technique that I used in the show on Animal Planet, Rescue Dog to Super Dog. The first thing I want to do is I'm using a very basic item. You can see it's a simple wooden pole. Some people would use a PVC pipe. But what I want to do is I want to be able to bring it out and get her to bite it. Now, I'm not asking her to hold it just yet. I just want her to bite it. The moment she bites it, I'm going to use her terminal marker and then I'm going to reward her. Again, this is the early stages, so we're going to reward every single one. We want her to build upon success. Okay, so I have her sit in front of me. I like to use a climb bed, but some people would also use a back tie and have the dog attached to a harness. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her in front of me, and I've done this exercise with her. So at first, you might have to make it very playful to get your dog to do the behavior. But remember, with everything that we do, first we get the dog to do the behavior no matter what we need to do to get them to do it. So I have it behind my back, not saying any commands, and I'm just gonna bring it out. Free. Once she puts her mouth on it, I mark and reward, and then I put it back behind my back. Free. Good girl. Free. Very good. Free. Excellent. Free. Good girl, Harley. Free. Very nice. Notice I'm changing the position free because I want her to know that she has to reach for it in order to get that reward free good girl and like I said this is a very difficult exercise to do so you have to be patient with it free okay now that I have her doing that and it's going really nicely the next thing I want to get her to do is I want to get her to hold it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out once she puts her mouth on it I'm going to start petting her and rewarding her now when I first do this I kind of have to pet on the top and the bottom to keep their mouth closed on the item. Your dog's going to want to drop it the first time you do this. So again, I'm going to bring it out and then I'm going to pet her just like this. I want her to hold it nice and calmly in her mouth. You can bring a little closer so they can see. And you can see all I'm doing is I'm petting her on the bottom <laughs> and I'm petting her on top. Then I grab it free and I reward her. I'm not using an out command. I want her to know that I'm marking the behavior of holding it, not the behavior of releasing it. That's why I'm not doing this. Out. Because I want her to know it's holding it that she's getting the reward. So that's why I'm using the terminal marker. Again, I bring it out and I have her hold it. Now your dog's probably going to drop it when you first do this. If they drop it, no big deal. You're gonna use your non-reinforcement marker. So for me, it's the word wrong. So if she did it incorrectly, I would say wrong. Then I would pick it up and I would help her grab it again and I would reward her. Wrong means in the language that I'm using with Harley is she did it incorrectly and she's not gonna receive a reward. But it doesn't mean she's going to get a correction. Once I get the dog comfortable with holding it in their mouth and I can have them do it for an extended period of time, then I wanna get them to start walking around while holding the item. Again, this is very difficult in the beginning, so be patient. So we're gonna start walking around. So I would use the leash pressure, and I simply guide her and I get her to walk towards me. Come here, baby. Good girl. Good. Very nice. And again, if your dog drops it, no big deal. Say the wrong or the non-reinforcement marker. Come here, sweetie. Good girl, good. And then bring it back and help them. Free. Very nice. So I would have her walk in a lot of different locations. This is also a good exercise for service dogs because you want them to be able to carry things for their human with the disability. So she dropped it, so I would say wrong. I pick it back up, I put it back in her mouth. Good girl, come here, sweetie. Very nice. And like I said, a lot of dogs are gonna drop it at this point. Harley, come here, baby. Good girl. Free. Good, very nice. Harley, climb. So now you can see she's able to walk around with it. She made a mistake, she dropped it, not a big deal. Again, you have to be very patient with this. No, Harley, climb. I did not see the break. Good 
girl, come on. In fact, break, good. It's a little warm, so I'll let her jump down. So again, we wanna be very patient with this. Now the next portion, after I've completed those steps, what I wanna do next is I'm gonna drop the item. Actually, I'm gonna bring the item to the ground, but I'm gonna keep my hand next to the item. When you first do this, your dog wants to see your hand free next to the item. For some reason, with every dog I've trained to retrieve, if I just drop it, they look at it and they go, your hand's not there, so I'm not gonna pick it up. It's kind of weird. So the first time I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring it to the ground, free, good girl, and have her grab it while my hand is still holding it. Free, very nice. Free, good girl, so she's doing very well. Free. Excellent, good job, Harley. Did you want the treat or are you gonna smell the grass? So you can see, I'm gonna do that for a while. And again, a lot of reps. You have to do a lot of repetition in order to get the dog to understand this exercise. Then what I do is I slowly start to move my hand away from the item as I set it down to make the picture look similar, but to get the dog to pick it up off the ground without my hand holding it. So it should look something like this. Three. Very good, Harley. Free, nice job. Free, very good. So you can see what I'm doing now is I'm starting to move my hand slowly out of that picture and getting her used to the idea that she can pick it up off the ground and hand it to me. Next thing that I do in order to build upon this is I start to throw it. When I first start to throw the item, I let the dog go retrieve the item while it's still moving. So we're going to be using a little bit of play. We wanna make this fun. So I'm gonna guide her into heel position. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna take the item and I'm gonna to toss it and allow her to go get it. If she doesn't just take a break, you're laying down, you're getting tired. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take it and then I'm gonna to toss it. Good girl, very good. Very nice, nice, nice. Lots of praise, lots of praise. I want her to bring it to my hand, free. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll do this motion like I'm trying to grab it, but the dog's too far. So they have to bring it to my hand. So again, I'm gonna bring her back in the heel. You're doing nice, Harley. And I'm gonna take it and throw it. Good girl, very nice. You can do it. Yay, that's my Harley. Oh, she's getting a little lazy. Now, if they drop it like that, again, don't worry about it too much. Just retoss it. And if they look again, good girl, free. They're gonna need a little bit of help in the beginning in order to make this successful. So that's going to be the next step. Once we do all of that, we go back to the beginning and we start adding a command because now we can do all the steps and we know we're successful at it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring the item back behind my back. I'm gonna go through the steps but I'm gonna use the command. I like to use the word bring. You can use whatever command you like. So I have her in front of me and I say bring, then I bring out free and reward. So you can see I'm doing exactly what I did before, but I'm just telling her what I'm about to do before I do it. So again, bring, free, good girl. Bring, free. That one she didn't bite it all the way, but that's okay. Bring, free, good, excellent. Bring, free, good girl. She's gotta work a little bit for it. Bring, free, very nice, Harley. Now I'm gonna do it where I have her hold it. Bring, good girl, free. Change the length in which you have them hold the item too. Bring, very good, free. So I might make it short, like this. Bring, good, free. Or I can make it a little bit longer. <clears throat> Bring, good. Let go a little bit, pet again, let go. Pet, very nice, free, very good. So we have that. Now we're gonna go back to the other step where we have them walk with it. So you see we're repeating everything and we're building the dog's confidence through success. Bring, very good, Harley, come here baby. Good, get her to walk. Good, 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 good girl, good girl. Come on, you can bring it to my hand. Oh, she dropped it early. So I'm gonna help her pick it back up. Good girl, free. 
Very nice. I want her to be successful in making sure she hands it to me because a dog that retrieves is not going to help a lot if they drop it right before you grab it. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say it and now we're gonna show the picture as if it's on the ground. Bring. I want her to grab it though. There we go. Free. Good girl. Bring. Good. Free. Very good. Harley, bring. Good girl. Free. And now when you're doing this, I do recommend doing it on a flat surface without a bunch of distractions. So this has grass and other things to distract them. So it's a little more difficult. If you can do it inside somewhere with less distractions, it's going to make it easier. And now we go back to where we're throwing it. So again, I'm gonna say it before I throw it right now because I'm trying to make it more fun for her. Bring, and then I throw. Razor, good girl, very nice. You gotta bring it to the hand, right here. There's my hand. So you see how she kind of reached up in order to hand it to me. Okay, so once I get that, then my next step is while I'm doing normal obedience, so I'm hanging out with her, we're training, down, free, I'm doing some basic obedience, and then I drop the item. Free, I don't, <laughs> I don't tell her to bring at that point because this is another exercise where I want her to be able to pick it up and bring it back to me, free, even if I don't realize I dropped it. So if you accidentally drop something, your dog sees it, picks it up and brings it back to you and you can reward them. So this right here is going to be the first few steps that we're going to do to teach the retrieve. This takes a while. So give yourself a month, two months, three months if you need to. Don't rush it, be very patient with it. The next video is going to be on how we're going to take this and turn it into all these other different items that the dog will be retrieving. Because right now she just knows to pick this up but I want her to know that she needs to pick up keys and those different things as well, okay? So I hope you guys liked today's video. Thanks again for watching and supporting my channel. If you can, hit the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. A lot of you have also been asking where I get my vest from. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check that out as well. And I will see you all on the next video.